What would happen to him well, if it was banned? Well, feast your eyes on this because this could well be the last time you see him oh, in the flesh Mr. because Tickle. Tickling is out. There you are. Oh, look, and he's so jolly. What? Hello, Mr. Tickle. Is that jo oh, oh, she no. wouldn't like it. Stay away from her. <laughs> no, no, no. no. You have to ask Thank first. you, Mr. Tickle. Mr. Oh. Tickle. <laughs> it's not the day for that, believe me. That might be the last time we okay. see Mr. Tickle allowed to do without <coughs> asking permission. Now, you see... Um, Did you know that Mr. Tickle oh. was the first in the Mr. I Tickle I just said books? that, darling. No, but do you know why? Why? Because his son, so Roger Hargreaves, the yes. author, his son said to him when he was little, Daddy, I wonder what a tickle would look like. Well, and that's where the idea now, came looking from. Looking at that, that tickle is Lottie Daly. She's she's a friend of Russell Brand's and she's um, she's against tickling. And beside her, Vanessa Feltz, who's all in favour of it. Uh, Lottie, how does it make you feel looking at Mr Tickle over your shoulder there? <laughs> I feel really intimidated. What's he going to do to me? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> And, and your point, but well, he's not going to do anything, no. Mr Tickle. He's going now. Yeah, go on, sing your yeah. head. I said no. Right. Don't build your part. <laughs> right. Right. Um, <laughs> that one on me too. Because, you know, you, you see this as a, as a serious thing. You think Russell Brand's got a point with all of this. I love Russell Brand. We taught him KG Hypnobath thing, and he was a brilliant dad um, when he was around his children. And I do think he's got a point. On the face of it, of course, what's wrong with the tickle? Everybody does it. I've been guilty of the same until I knew better. Um, but when you actually start learning about body autonomy and consent for our children when they become a little bit older, we realise that actually we should be modelling this behaviour from birth, including, you know, letting your baby know that you're changing its nappy and things like that. It's modelling it that way. What, so you tell your so. baby you're going to change its nappy? Yeah. What? I want her to know that it's her body. Well, she she says no. Well, can't it's leave not a case of nappy. them saying yes, mum, or no, mum. It's modelling that repetition and that sort of habit of checking in with your children and making sure that they're happy with what you're doing with them so and remembering they're not what? accessories, okay, they're not pets, they're Mum's going to change your nappy, yeah. you're preparing them. I don't say, hey, Neve, right, it's time for mm. to get rid of that poo now. Mm. I don't say that, but I do when I'm washing my daughters, for example, when, it, when I've got to wash their bottoms, and they're, they're older, they're seven and five, I will say, can Mummy just wash your bottom because <laughs> sometimes you have to with, with your I, children. I slightly understand and that they will more say yes than or no. I, I do understand that. Yeah. You know, we have a lot of problems with teaching children, you know, that's we a place do. where some, that's your private place and it's only for you to, you know, other people but can't touch that. But it doesn't I get that. But tickling, I mean, yeah. tickling is something like my granddad used to tickle me all the time. I used yes, to love yes, it. Yes, yes, used to but love it. But that's great if you love when it. When you think back now, maybe, yeah. I mean, my uncles used to tickle me and now I sort of think, mm, mm. Did you love it? Yes, and I want to ask you that. My memories, and I'll ask each one of you this, if you say to me, tickling, what does it mean to you? To me, it means laughter, it means happy times. It also means a wee bit sore and you run away from it, but I, it never once felt threatening for me. You? Uh, no, but then I think it depends who's doing it. Absolutely. So my, my, my tickling memories are my granddad, particularly, mm -hmm. we used to love. I remember my grandma doing a round around the garden and yes. a tickly under so, there. Yes. I remember tickling Jack, where he used to go, no, stop it, mummy. And then two seconds he'd go, do it again, it's do it okay. again. So Vanessa. it was always a very fun yeah, thing. I've, you know, fun memories of, of tickling and being tickled, as far as I'm concerned, I think it's an absolute shame that we have to in any way mix up tickling a child that we know you have to be on tickling terms mm. with a child you don't just swoop in and tickle some strange People child no, but you shouldn't obviously mm. you don't tickle someone you don't know you don't grab a child that's done, that doesn't trust you and you're not comfortable with and isn't comfortable with you and start forcibly tickling a child of course i don't advocate that but tickling is the ultimate in kind of innocent love care fun physical contact with a child that you love and that loves you and it's innocent that's the whole point you're tickling I mean, i've got two grandbabies do i tickle them of course i do do they beg me to stop just like yes. jack used to do of course yeah. they do do Not they beg me to carry yeah. on of yeah. course they do am i invading their space well no, you might when be. i kiss them but, i'm not invading think we've got to rethink we've got to rethink and maybe some yeah. of us should stop on our tracks oh. and think mm, although we did do this is this is this the right Absolutely. Thing. I asked my children, do you like tickling? They said yes. And I said, well, would you like it if someone we didn't know did it or one of mummy's friends? And they went, no. And I said, why? And they said, well, we'd be scared. And I was like, well, why would you be scared? And they went, because I wouldn't like it, because it wasn't you. And I said, well, would you speak up? And she said, no. And I said, well, you can say no if, you, you know, obviously I need to be instilling a little bit more of that in them. But I do think that we need to rethink the wider issues of consent. It's not just applicable to teachers. 
teenagers, it's applicable to, from birth. But are you saying if, if um, grandparents come or aunts and uncles or godparents or really good friends of the family mm. and the game starts, if somebody tickles, they should never tickle without asking. I think Could I should... please tickle you as part of this game? I do think that we should start to ask those questions. God, this is such a shame. This is a terrible shame. But because when you look nobody, at the wider no, context, not really. You see that no, we because need to. this isn't about the wider context. This it is about is. it isn't. It's about children within a family where you know each other, you trust each other, you're comfortable with each other, you're in your pajamas, you're in the kitchen, you're playing a tickling game, you're catching, playing a tickling. There's nothing sordid, unpleasant, mm. disturbing, and I don't want people like you or Russell Brand to make it seem as if it is for a grandpa today to think i want to tickle my baby grandson oh gosh maybe i shouldn't what a terribly sad thing i tell you what's sad what a shame. about it. i'm thinking of my niece and nephew sophie and luke who are seven and five my brother's children never once would i think excuse me can i tickle your children because it sort of sounds premeditated yeah. i think that sounds wi more yeah, weird, weird. weird. But what maybe i worry about what i worry about about this Vanessa, is almost you are sentencing children future generations of children to be distant, am I saying? But exactly, yeah, and also, and also this idea of doing. no, no, but this no. idea of preserving personal space, absolutely, in formal circumstances, in school, in a hospital, with people you don't know, on a bus, yes. But actually, children and adults thrive on cuddling, kissing, but the odd pinch, about the odd little nibble, rev the, um, that, that, you know, the odd ruffle of the hair. Have you ever had? Have you ever had? random people, strangers, trying to tickle your children in any sense. Yes, absolutely. What, what on kind of the, um, a couple of weeks ago, I was on the bus with my, with my baby who's backstage and uh, a lady came over. Oh, your baby's lovely. We exchanged pleasantries. And she just grabbed her and kissed her. And I was just like, oh, that's a bit weird. Well, I think and it's it, a bit delightful, I actually. I think that's lovely. Yeah. And no. if, you, if, you, if you go, no, if you go to Italy, you go to Spain, kissing. they no. take your baby and give a pinch and the baby giggles and they giggle. That's, there's nothing hostile or threatening. We that. don't but, know but, that. Lucy, do you think that we, we are in that. danger, like Eamon said, of what next? You can't cuddle somebody. You can't, no, you can't I don't pat think a child on the head. I, I think we're, we're not looking at it for what it is. If we expect children to respect adults for being adults and we expect women especially mm. are socialised to be good girls and to say yes and to keep it quiet mm -hmm. if someone does something, hence why it took so but long hence, for the Can I say in reverse to, to get a grip? We memories, need to ask. My fondest memories of my grandmother, of my aunts and my uncle, because my uncles actually would tickle more than my, my aunts would, are nothing but lovely memories, closeness of people who are actually closer to me than members times of the have general public mm. are. I don't think anything's changed. Absol times have, oh, so times have not changed. changed. A child and a baby's desire for love and comfort and fun that and tickles and jokes, nothing has changed. But, you, but, it's, but why it's shouldn't it? Contact. Why shouldn't it? Did you it? get tickled as a child? Did you oh, have probably. a pleasant tickling experience? A bit of both, really. I mean, pleasant tickling where, where you're saying, as long as you've got your, your word, no, and the adult respects that. But then you do have in instances where you go to family parties or you're in um, in a community centre or you're at church or in places like that where lots of people where adults do mm. touch children not in a dodgy way but mm. in a way that is though you're ruffling a, a, a dog they're not so pet, they're people Mr they Mr right Tickle Mr no. Tickle here in those Roger Hargreaves books do you think <laughs> that sends out the wrong message No I just think we need tickles. to be more aware, uh, aware of of children and 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 their body autonomy if we're going to be teaching them to respect their bodies and to say no, then we need to start modelling that behaviour from so birth. So you would ban a Mr Tickle book? I would not ban a Mr, T Mr. Tickle book, no. But it sounds like the wrong message, surely. <laughs> no, there's there's many different shades to this. It's not black and it's not white. There, there are... Very mi we've got another mixed views here. Shell Andrews said, what next? Will we have to start asking permission to hold children's hands because of the invasion of their personal space? Uh, Vicky Neve, though, she said, yes, tickling should be frowned upon. I hated being tickled when I was little and my kids hate it now, too. OK. But I, but I would just and say, so children, you don't give them a consent form to sign in triplicate. If they don't like it, they make yeah. it known immediately. They either cry, they run they away, they Oh, they say yes, stop. They, do. they yeah. say stop. They're Folks, all silly. Um, your that. views, this guys. Thank you very much. If think. you don't stop yeah. talking, I'll tickle both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. That's why I'm here. I could ask.